Abortion is murder and everybody knows it. Manhattan, we're here with an urgent message. We're here with the message of life and love. Not of hate, but of repentance and faith in Jesus Christ, the only source of joy and peace in this life, this troubled life of suffering. Whatever suffering you have, I promise you, I promise you, you should be grateful for the apartment you have, or house, or nice car, or hot meals. All of these things are denied to the little ones that are slaughtered by the dozens every day in our state. Do you love injustice? Then continue to ignore abortion. But if you're not a human rights hypocrite, I beg you, stand with us. Obey God's command where he has said, rescue those being led to slaughter. Love your pre-born neighbor as yourself. The first person to recognize Jesus was in the womb. John the Baptist in the womb. John the Baptist was the first person to recognize Jesus that he was in utero. He was pre-born and he leapt to receive the Messiah who is the source of the season we are celebrating. We recognize Jesus was born. He came in the flesh to rescue sinful humans. And we celebrate that reality on Christmas. But do you understand, Jesus did not come as a baby born. Jesus came as a baby to be born. The virgin shall conceive in her womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give to Jesus the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. This is the simple reality. The Lord Jesus says to love our neighbors as ourself. Do you love your preborn neighbor, or do you, like the righteous priest and Levite in the parable, walk by their plight and their injustice? Do you wish to ignore the Holocaust happening in your day? Using technology and prosperity to distract yourself? For our nation, there is no hope outside of repentance. God delays by the day only that more may be saved, but he is storing up wrath for all who love baby murder and all who love homosexuality and abortion and all other manner of sins which are offensive to him, unnatural to him. He alone is the standard. He has created us in our teleology is to love God and love our neighbor as ourself. It's not to love ourselves, it's not pride, it's not, it's not gluttony, it's not cutting out toxic people. The selfishness and hatred pervades, it pervades our culture. And that is why we've come to view children as burdens. We've come to view children as worthless. Children are blessings, friends. And we kill our children in the tens of millions. We pay assassins to murder our children. And in Manhattan, in every grocery store, they sell Plan B, which kills children. Every doctor prescribes the pill, which makes the endometrium hostile to implantation. In other words, it kills children. The pill kills children. Please, please consider your ways, friends. Consider how hormonal birth control has killed uncountable, uncountable millions in the history of human reproduction. We must repent. We must turn away from this madness and trust God. We must trust God with our conception, with our child bearing and child rearing. He alone is sovereign over the womb and we have made ourselves God to say we can kill our children if we don't want them. That is moral insanity. Only a barbaric population says, if I don't want my child, I'll kill them. We are morally superior to the Spartans because we have Christian morality, which says, do not kill your children, but love them. 
Love your neighbor. Love your pre-born neighbor. God commands it. Rescue those being led to slaughter. It is not enough to be pro-life, friends. If you content yourself with voting for pro-life politicians, you must recognize that they are, the vast majority of the time, they are fake. They have no intention of abolishing abortion. They fold under the slightest pressure. Their goal is election. It's time to demand nothing less than complete abolition. Someone who won't compromise. A baby conceived in rape can no wise be killed. Their life is just as precious as ours. Every preborn life is precious. Doesn't matter the circumstances of their conception. We must repent and love our neighbor. Whether they're poor, whether they're weak, whether their parents were evil or incestuous, we must protect their life because it is the first right given to us by the law of the land and we have the image of God in us to protect us. It is for his glory that we live and it is his choice when we die. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And the wages of sin is death, friends. And death comes for all of us. But only some of us will come back to life. Jesus says, those the Father has given me, none shall fall away. We can trust in Jesus that on the last day he will intercede for us. And in fact, his blood already, like the blood of Abel, calls out, crying out for justice and atonement. Howdy. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. What do you think? <laughs> I think it's pretty awesome. Yeah? I was walking by this morning. Rock on. What's your name? Uh, my name's Ken. Ken Valley. Great to meet you. I'm Daniel. How do you spell Ken? Uh, K-I-N. K-I-N. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Is that um, short for anything? Um, I like the way I hear it sometimes. Okay. So like, you know, <laughs> but um, I don't know. I've just been kind of like walking around. So. Yeah. And I was like wondering. I was like, I was like, so are these like the people that like get it, or are these the people that are like? Just <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> nice. Nice Great to meet you, Ken. God bless you. Would you like a card? Huh? Would you like a card? Oh, yeah. Here, we should get her a pamphlet. You got a pamphlet? This is what we're all about, so uh, feel free to read it and pass it on if you uh, like it. <laughs> yep. All right, thank you guys. Thanks yeah, for your time. Bless. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas indeed, yeah. Good evening, Manhattan. We stand here as intercessors for our pre-born neighbors who are killed by the dozens every day in Kansas. Every single day, little pre-born neighbors are murdered by their parents who hired assassins to kill them. We use language like that because it helps us see rightly what abortion is. Abortion is murder. And when we treat it like murder, we will abolish it. We will by no means compromise. Babies conceived in rape are still humans with the image of God in their own DNA, their own potential, and they must not be killed. They must be protected. Babies without heartbeats, doesn't matter the level of development, doesn't matter the level of disability. Every child is worth protecting. Every life is a life, no matter how small. Because they're made in God's image, they are worthy of dignity and protection therein. And no other worldview can offer the full truth of a worldview of life and justice and peace. Only Christianity offers a consistent worldview of a God who's not capricious, a God who demands justice and yet is merciful. And for every baby killed, Every drop of blood that is shed, God is storing up wrath. Their blood calls out for justice, friends. Nothing will do, nothing will do to save us from the wrath coming except for Jesus Christ. 
who is a merciful man and God, and he came and lived the life that we could not. He lived a perfect life, friends. He absolutely held up God's standards with no moral failing, no error for even a moment. And he alone, therefore, has the authority to be a sacrifice for mankind, an infinite sacrifice to cover all sins. Only Jesus, Jesus Christ, can save, friends. We must turn and obey him. Abortion is murder, friends. It's not enough to be pro-life. Doesn't matter if you're voting for pro-life politicians or in your heart you uh, care about pre-born babies. James says the one who truly loves is the one who acts. If you truly love your pre-born neighbor as Jesus commands, what are you doing to stop their holocaust, their genocide? Are you rescuing those being led to slaughter, as the Psalms say? Are you doing what God commands? Not to earn your righteousness, no one can do that. Only Jesus can forgive us. Only he lived a perfect life. And we must turn to him and ask forgiveness for our apathy concerning abortion. We must repent of this holocaust, friends. In every grocery store in this city, they sell baby murder pills. And in KC in Wichita, there are assassins called doctors that are paid to kill children because we view children as burdens, we view children as curses. Children are blessings. How dare we, like the wicked parents of yore that threw their children in trash bins and gutters because they could not afford them. Or they did not want them. Every child's life is precious. And every parent that tries to kill their child is guilty of attempted murder or, in the case of a successful abortion, actual murder. Abortion is murder, friends. We should tremble to think of the tens of millions that have been killed in our nation of the past half century. In 50 years, what have pro-life legislators done to stop abortion, to stop murderers from murdering pre-born babies under the cover of law? Abortion is murder, friends. We must demand nothing less than the absolute abolition. And voting for normie pro-life legislators is not enough. They are not committed to abolishing abortion and they'll fold under the smallest pressure. We must vote for abolitionist candidates committed to a scriptural worldview which says partial laws are wicked. And we will do nothing less than saving every life. We do not trade lives with those who are murderers. We do not say that we will save some lives by trading other lives to those who are paid to kill babies. Everybody knows abortion is murder. Every single person knows that abortion is murder. That a baby in the womb is a human person. Everybody knows that. The second a woman gets pregnant, doesn't matter whether she has joy or dread at that thought, she knows there is a unique person in her body, given by God with the image of God and its own unique DNA, hair color, eye color, gender determined from the moment of conception. It's a unique person. Women say, my body, my choice, but it's not their body. It's not their body. Women do not have two heads, four arms, four legs. It's insanity. When women give birth, they don't give birth to their body, they give birth to a different person's body that had its own body. The Lord Jesus Christ says to love the little ones and by no means put them aside, let alone kill them. But we kill our children because we view children as a burden 
instead of viewing children as blessings children are a blessing we must protect their life at all costs we must protect every single preborn life every baby conceived in rape or incest every baby that's born disabled or poor even their lives are precious and valuable and they by no means deserve the death penalty it's not their fault it's not their fault are you a human rights hypocrite do you care about the causes of the unjust injustice in our society are you silent to the Holocaust that you live in? We live in a Holocaust. In 50 years, they've killed tens of millions in our very city. In every grocery store in town, they sell Plan B, and doctors prescribe the pill to every teenage girl. And they relabeled the pill as not abortifacient. But it's a lie. It kills babies. It makes the endometrium hostile. And it kills conceived persons, friends. How many countless children have we killed in the name of convenience to the God of self and comfort? We must repent. We must see children as blessings. We must see children as creatures to be loved, just like us. Creatures made for life and joy and peace and forgiveness in Jesus Christ. And stop seeing them as a cost. Stop seeing children as what it takes away from us and what we can do. That's foolishness, friends. It's selfishness. And pride always, always blinds us to our own selfishness. We must turn back to our God our Father who loves us, who made us in His image. He makes all of us in His image. Christmas is about Jesus Christ. And the first person to recognize Jesus Christ was John the Baptist in the womb. He was not yet born and even he leapt at the joy of the Messiah, Jesus. Jesus did not come as a born baby. Jesus came as a conceived person, not yet born. God said, the virgin shall conceive in her womb and bear a son. You shall call his name Jesus. It's from Luke. We are people before we're born and everybody knows it. It's a lie to pretend that abortion isn't murder. We know abortion is murder. Of course abortion is murder. It's obvious, friends. There is no remedy for our sin. There is no remedy for our brokenness, our wickedness, and our hatred of our neighbor, except for Jesus Christ. Jesus is coming with wrath for all evil, all injustice. He will repay what everyone has sown. He says, let the just be just still, and let the unjust be unjust still on the day of his coming but there is a way out friends before that day before that day in God's perfect timing God gives you the chance this day to find salvation in Christ you must turn you must repent and believe in him you must hate your old ways you must be willing to trust your life to God and his ways for you Otherwise, there is no forgiveness, friends. God will not forgive you if you have not believed in Jesus Christ. You need to hear this. Christ is the only source of solution. Source of salvation, excuse me. And the Lord God is coming. He is not slow in coming. He is coming with healing in his wings or with wrath for pots destined for dishonor.
Abortion is murder, friends. We all know it. Manhattan, wake up. Wake up, Manhattan. Wake up, Manhattan. Children are being killed in the dozens every single day in our state and in every grocery store. Every grocery store in this city sells baby murder pills. They sell Plan B. And all the doctors prescribe the pill, the contraceptive pill. The pill kills children. It makes the endometrium hostile to implantation. And it kills conceived, fertilized human beings with their own unique DNA and the image of God. This is barbaric and foolish. And we deserve every bit of anger and covenant curses God could throw at us. We deserve to be spit out of the land and be conquered by wicked nations like China and Russia. We deserve every punishment. But God is merciful. He waits that we might be saved, that we might turn to Him, our Father, and find mercy. That we might turn from baby murder. We might turn from those who sacrifice our children on altars of self and convenience and comfort. That we can find salvation in Jesus Christ. We can humble ourselves and recognize our lowly estate and our need for God. Our need for a healer, a savior. Jesus Christ, friends, he is a merciful, merciful God. And he loves to save those who are unworthy. But we must, we must turn to him. Abortion is murder, friends, and we all know it. Even if the child is conceived in rape, or they're disabled or poor, those children's lives are valuable. It doesn't matter if their mother wants them. Want doesn't determine human value. Every life is precious. We must protect them in Jesus' name. We must rescue those being led to slaughter, as Jesus said in his word. The Lord God has written it. And so we must do it. We must rescue those being led to slaughter. Every drop of blood spilled from innocent children, there will be an accounting for. God is coming with wrath for those who kill their children, those who pay assassins to kill their children, those who pay their doctor to get the contraceptive pill and accidentally kill their children, those who buy Plan B at the store, those who use IVF and fertilize many eggs and then throw some of those eggs out. Those are humans with their own unique DNA hair color, eye color, gender, determined from the moment of conception, and even more importantly, bearing the image of God, the uncreated, perfect, infinite Father who made us all. He is our salvation and the only source of joy and life. Everything you've ever loved came from Him. However many nights you have, you have spent ungrateful for the many blessings you have in your life, Count yourself lucky that you were not killed by your mother before you were even born. Please, consider your ways, friends. Consider your ways. Consider the uh, barbaric practice of abortion. Consider, should we kill our children? God says no. It doesn't matter what you say. God said no. He put his foot down. His word is final. Abortion is murder, and he has commanded us to rescue those being led to slaughter. Are you apathetic about abortion? Do you never think about it? Do you not care about it? If it was your life on the chopping block, I would stand for you too. And you would want others to stand for you in your life. There is only, only salvation in Jesus Christ, friends, yes. God bless you, sir. The middle finger does nothing. You cannot spurn the message of his truth. The Lord Jesus is coming with wrath for any who kill their children. 
Mothers who pay assassins to kill their children, who buy Plan B in stores to murder their babies. It's moral insanity. I agree, we should shake our heads at that. Abortion is murder, and we must repent before it's too late, friends. We must, we must hate baby murder. God bless you. We must turn from our ways, our worldly, natural ways. God bless you guys. We must demand nothing less than the complete abolition of abortion, friends. May the Lord have mercy on us all.